the new energy in journalism is pretty obvious, and that's fairly thrilling, except this fake news meme is really insidious. I mean, there, there's the real fake news, and then there's the fake fake news. There's the aspersion cast upon real news as being fake just because you don't happen to like it. This is obviously coming mostly from the right and from Trump defenders. How do we inoculate ourselves against the power of this meme, where basically everyone has siloed themselves? My news source considers your, your news source fake news, and, and you return yeah. the favor. It should just be obvious that when the New York Times commits an error and corrects it, that does not vitiate the integrity of the New York Times for all time, and that certainly doesn't put it on all fours with some blog that is just manufacturing fake news. And yet that seems to be what has happened. There are people who just will not trust anything in yeah. the mainstream media now. What do we do with that? Good journalists make mistakes for the same reason that good scientists often get things wrong. And the truth-seeking process, and you've written about this, the truth-seeking process is not one where you start, if you, if you knew it already, you wouldn't need to go seek it. Um, it is a uh, a process of hypothesis, of checks, of errors, and of correction. And the corrections are as integral to the process um, as any other part of it. And that's the difference between, and, and of course, and we all have our biases. The New York Times certainly has a lot of biases, biases both in terms of, of um, what they select. I think in retrospect, people will look back on the New York Times coverage in 2016 and would say, in the face of this slow moving catastrophe, that was what Donald Trump was about to do, move to America. Did you really have to print 80 articles or whatever it was about transgender rights? That was mm -hmm. like, that was your news. That was your great crusading cause in the year 2016. You're joking. Um, you know, they have biases um, and imperfections and flaws, but they, they're in a different business from deliberate, the deliberate production of propaganda, which is the Fox News business, or the, the construction actually of lies in order to have political effect, which is what RT does. Um, and th those are differences. How do we get past that? You alluded, you, your question contained the answer, um, which is it's, un we wish it were true that the reason that we have, that we are polarized in our opinions is because we have different facts. And if we'd only somehow agree on the facts, we'd have the same opinions. As you know, that you frame this, in my opinion, exactly correctly. We start with the different points of view and then we go find the different facts to support our point of view. So the answer to this problem about media is embedded in an answer to our society, that we have to find some ways to make American society more cohesive. And I have my thoughts about that. They're probably somewhat different from your thoughts, but a more effective and cohesive society in which people feel, more people feel they're full participants will be, I think, less vulnerable to this kind mm -hmm. of disinformation.